I am an iPad user. Now this may sound like a real first world statement, but it's one of those tools in my life that I can't imagine not having. It is seldom outside of my reach, either at work or here at home. I'm on my third iPad, and when I bought it, I tried to go cheap and bought one that has less memory than the one I had before. I thought it was being financially responsible when I went with a smaller model. I try to be a good steward of my finances and only spend on what I need and not what I want. But let me be perfectly honest when I say that I have paid for that frugal decision to go cheap. I do a lot of writing and note taking. I also do a lot of photo and video and, and image kind of work. But these things all take up a lot of memory. I get a little error that flashes up regularly that says my iPad is running out of memory. I regularly have to pull things off and clear it up from the iCloud or free up space on my iPad. It's, it's, it's an annoyance to say the least to have an iPad that is just too small for my needs and I shouldn't have been so cheap when I bought it. But maybe there is an upside to this. Having an iPad that isn't big enough for my needs or my wants has forced me to prioritize. It's forced me to look at what I want to keep on my iPad versus what I need to keep there. It has forced me into this minimalistic mentality that rewards how I manage what I'm carrying around on my device. I have even moved to doing certain things on my iPhone instead of my iPad. I've compensated in various ways to make it work rather than just trading up for a more expensive iPad. The parallel between my iPad's limits and my life popped up on my radar recently. I had been thinking about how we tend to cram in stuff into our lives. And not too long ago, I went to a concert in another city. The concert didn't get over until after midnight, and then I had to drive an hour and a half home. That would have been an hour and a half if I wasn't sleepy. I stopped to try to wake up once. When I got back on the road, I rolled down my windows in hopes that the air would wake me up. I uh, stopped again to get something to drink with caffeine in. It. I turned the radio up loud. I stopped again to get something else with caffeine in it because it just wasn't cutting it from the first try. And then I thought, I'll just rest my eyes for a little bit. That, that little bit turned into two hour nap. All of a sudden, my hour and a half drive was turning into a much longer effort. I made it home in the early hours of the next morning. I was super tired and I slept until early afternoon. I was supposed to attend a, a lunch gathering with some friends that day and I just couldn't make it. I had tried to cram in more than I was able to accomplish and I just couldn't do it all. So this is the issue that many of us face in our lives. We all suffer from the affliction of having only 24 hours in each day. We cram more and more into that same 24 hours that afflicts everyone. We think we can accomplish more if we just cram more in. Never mind rest, never mind caring for ourselves. We'll just cram all that stuff in somehow. But much like my iPad memory, there's only so much room. And just like my iPad, we have to start deciding what the most important stuff is and prioritize. In Ephesians 5, we find these words, look carefully then how you walk, not as the unwise, but as wise, making the best use of the time because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. In this letter sent from Paul to the leaders of a church, he challenges them to make sound use of their time. When we focus on doing things well, we find that we have to prioritize the use of our time. This means that we have to have the time available to be used. To have that time available to do things well, we have to prioritize how much we cram into our lives. To be great at anything, we have to have the time to focus on doing it well to begin with. My good friend Joy once said to me that for everything we say yes to, we're saying no to something else. Sometimes we have to say the difficult no so that our yes can do well. Right now you may be having thoughts about specific things that you might be able to lay aside for the sake of the things that are, matter most in your life. You may be thinking that maybe you need to spend less time on Facebook. Maybe instead of uh, setting aside time to watch a TV show, when it's aired, you could record it on your DVR so you can skip through the commercials and get through it faster. Prioritizing time can be a challenge, but it can free you up to hit the level of awesome you know you can achieve. That's something to pray about, don't you think? Exploring the elements of faith can be a lifelong pursuit. Knowing what questions to ask can be the hard part. If you like what you saw here in this video, be sure to like and subscribe on YouTube or like and follow on my Facebook page. My goal is to have a new video uploaded every week. More importantly, I'd love to hear from you. Share your thoughts with me about what the video means to you, or if you have a faith question or video suggestion, send me a message about it. 
I'm not going to tell you that I have all the answers, but I seriously enjoy the exploration process, and especially with others. In addition to YouTube and Facebook, you can also find me on Twitter and Instagram, or my written blog on Tumblr by searching at Rev Chris Hall. Please feel free to share this video if you think someone else could benefit from it, and thanks for watching.